podcast world. Welcome to my channel. Today is the last day of leftovers and the first day of Christmas. If you still got some leftovers in your refrigerator, then I don't know what to tell you. You been you wasn't hitting it hard enough on Thanksgiving. Like today, you should not have anything left. Maybe some sweets because I think they'll keep. But if you got any ham, turkey stuffing. Uh, dressing whatever in your refrigerator, yeah, you might be trying to give that away or throw that away. Because uh, hey, it's almost exactly a week later from when you first started probably cooking it. So definitely, definitely get rid of whatever you have that if it's Thanksgiving based. Because, like I say, it is definitely the last day of leftovers. Really, yesterday kind of was. And it's probably time for you to start decorating that tree. Pull that tree out. Some people say after Thanksgiving, it's, it's best to do it on Black Friday. That's cool. That's cool. And then some people be like, no, that's not the best day to do it. The best day to do it is the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me. Uh -huh. And I don't know if you got a partridge in a pear tree, but it's time to put those trees up. So let me know. So that way when it comes time for you to get them five golden rings. Um, I'm telling you, I know the whole song. I'm just not going to go through the whole song. It'll take all day. Take up a whole podcast. So, um, you know, it used to, it's one of my favorite um, together songs, you know, that as a family, you should teach your kids the words to the 12th day of Christmas. And now, um, if you're watching any of the, it's ABC Family, and it's the 25 days of Christmas. And today is the first day of Christmas. So... Now that you're all jacked in for the month of December, getting ready for the first day of Christmas, getting ready to make uh, some cookies, some gingerbread cookies, you know, <laughs> catch me if you can, I'm the gingerbread man kind of stuff. So let me know what you got going on, let me know if you got some family recipes that we should have been trying, or... Oh uh, yeah, you talking about that eggnog. It's that time of the year where, let me know what you put in your eggnog. Is it rum? Is it Hennessy? Is it Palmer Sun? Is it gin? Is it vodka? You know, let me know how you, um, you know, spice up your eggnog. Because that's what the time of the year it is. If you are, like, some people out there like, Ew, eggnog. No, you just don't know. It is great. Eggnog is the way to go uh, around this time of the year. It's a seasonal thing. So, you know, tis the season, as they say. Deck the halls with eyes up my lip. La, 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Now we get our thing of arrows, fa la 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 la. I'm just letting you know that at the end of the day, it is that time. It is definitely time for you to start thinking about your loved ones and all the love that you're having and all the love that you're gonna give, all the love that you're gonna get. Like, let me know at the end of the day what you gonna do. Cause who doesn't love Christmas? Like the the Grinch? Like who pissed in your coffee this morning? Who pissed in your oatmeal? I wanna know what was your favorite Christmas gift. The favorite Christmas gift that you got and the favorite Christmas gift that you got here. And if you ain't got nothing but a song to sing in your heart, go up there and do like the little drummer boy did and come they told me rum -bum -bum -bum. me and my drum. Like I say, it's that time of the year where it don't matter if you can sing or not. It is that time. The Christmas carols are coming. Like, <laughs> if you're not ready to be out there caroling, and I'm not going to say that we're going to get some snow so we have some frosty the snowman. You know, I'm not going to say that's going to be the case. But it's cold. It's getting colder. It is at the coldest point it's been all year. Like, Usually, you know what I'm saying, 
again, we, we don't want to repeat of the ice storm here in Texarkana. Uh, so, we, we are content with it being a certain kind of cold outside. Like, controllable cold. You don't want to go out there and it's a blizzard and it's snow everywhere. Uh, I predict before the end of this year, by Christmas Day or so, we'll probably have some snow. We are on track to this year to having snow for Christmas. I predict that it might be around, it might not be on the day of Christmas Day, but I feel like before New Year's, before 2021, I'm feeling like we're going to get us a little touch of snow. Um, it's just the way the weather is going. It's raining and it's cold and, you know, uh, rain turns into snow. So, uh, I don't know if it's because we've been shut in so long that we can't really tell and that maybe it's only like 50 degrees outside and we need it to be like 32 or below. But I, I can't tell because I'm, I'm in here, you know. I've already started cutting my heat on and... You know, I'm probably going to have to give me a little space here because I don't want to be running my whole, you know, you know, I don't want to be burning up my whole apartment trying to, you know, run the electricity. This is that time of the year where between the summertime and the wintertime where you start thinking, oh, my electricity, my electricity, or gas, or whatever, how you got it going, you know. I've learned that ever since the snowstorm, the ice or whatever, we have several, um, like, kerosene, or we have, like, a whole, um, uh, space portable, um, fireplace in the corner now, ever since the, year uh, snowstorm. We also have, um, uh, like, you need something that's non-electric that produces heat, that's all I'm saying. You know, I'm probably hanging here, and I sell propane and propane accessories. You know, the time will come. It's at the point in time in life where dang, you dang near need a generator to power up your house. You know, get you some gas. You know, and to my understanding, that, you know, you power up the generator or whatever, and that, that bad boy will last you like all day after a full tank. And what I heard, I mean, I don't know. I haven't, you know, I don't personally have a generator, but I know friends out there who have generators, and they've used them for various reasons, like a trail rides and, and stuff like that, and um, had shows or whatever, and plug everything into their own generator, and it powers up everything they need. So, if a generator is strong enough to power up a whole house, then you you good to go. I don't know what else to tell you. Now. I don't know what I want for Christmas. What do you guys want for Christmas? Are you already are you already making that list? Have you been nice or have you been naughty? If you're naughty or nice, let me know. Is Santa out there and has he been kissing mommy? Because I know some people who said they saw mommy kissing Santa Claus a few years ago, and now now where is daddy? <laughs> I don't know. Divorced. I'm sorry. That's just the way it happened. Um, you can't get away from that. It's either family all for one, one for all. Uh, Feliz Navidad, we love you. It don't matter what you do. But what are some of your favorite Christmas movies? Are you a Rudolph through the nose reindeer kind of guy? Had a very shiny nose? Or are you a Year Without Santa Claus kind of guy? I like that. Because that was the Year Without Santa Claus is the one where it has the, the Miser Brothers on there. And, you know, they have the, they call me no Miser. Because <laughs> whatever I touch starts to freeze in my clutch. And then, they call me Heat Miser. Because whatever I touch do, 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 starts to melt to my clutch. <laughs> and it, 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 he's too much. To do. So, like I say, one, one of my favorites is the Year Without Santa Claus. Um, uh, as I grew up, I grew up on, you know, Rudolph and Frosty, but then after I got older, I came across some, some, I came across some characters who I never heard of before, you know, like Nestor the Long-Eared Donkey. 
very sad, very emotional um, movie. If you've never seen it, it's very touching. Also, there is who else? Um, I don't know. I I could go on. Um, the Little Drummer Boy and the Three Wise Men and the Away the Manger and Following the Star and you know Jesus Christ is Born and you know all of the whole scenario. You know, just think about all of that was happening all at one time. And I've seen them make movies about each one of them, and it kind of all just tied together because you know there he is, Birth of Christ. There he is. Then, a movie, um, more modern day, long term movie that probably, you know, might touch home for some, I don't know, but Home Alone, like how you leave your child at home like that twice, you know, how you lose your kid, and the best thing about it is, my very own, my son, his name is Kevin, Kevin, you know, Kevin, you know, it's it's fun to yell, trust me, <laughs> A uh, very powerful name, I feel, you know. So, when um, when I watch that, I always like the. Um, it's time to protect my house, you know. He sets everything up and they're playing that music, and you know. But my thing is, especially with at the house of the first one, how does he clean up that mess so fast? Like that stuff just happened on uh, Christmas Eve. So by the time his family gets there, and his mom comes in that morning or whatever, I, I guess he uh, cleaned up before he was to bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let me get this out of here. You know, uh, or what? You know, I'm just shocked. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure when he was in New York, his uh, family there came back and was like, oh, these renovators didn't do nothing. <laughs> I don't think I want to live here anymore. Was, you know. But they, uh, on the first one, uh, like they were saying, when they came and was uh, pretending to be pleased and was scoping out the, uh, the house, that was a really nice house. Like, for one, look at all the people who were staying in there, you know? Like, what? <laughs> wow. A lot of kids, you know? I'm talking about I got an attic, got a basement, what? <laughs> I'm from Texas. I'm not going to see anything like that. No basements in Texas. I mean, come on. <laughs> a subdivision? We're already close to, like, lower than ground level in some places or whatever, so... I don't know. If you're in Texas and, and especially in Houston and you have a basement, let me know. Like, for real. <laughs> I would like to see a picture of it. I would like to know what it's like to have a basement and an attic. You know? like, I've seen some nice houses. I'm not going to take that away. But I ain't never seen no basement or attic like that. So, again, uh, I just want to say Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's the first day of Christmas, and it won't be the last. And hopefully, I'll get to see you soon. Or right. again, it's the time for family. So, like I say, get you some eggnog, spice it up, and maybe some hot cocoa. Maybe spice it up. <laughs> Try to stay warm. You know. Like I say, this is definitely your year coming up. Like, be happy like baby New Year when, when, when New Year's hit. Be happy. I, I just say, New Year's comes around, New Year's Eve comes around, and you're in the New Year. You have a lot to be happy for. People didn't make it. Um... There was a struggle with the coronavirus and we're still in it. The pandemic is still going. And I, I have no control of bringing it into the next year. 
because you never know who's a carrier. And some people, they don't believe in wearing masks. They don't care if they get sick. They don't care if they, you know. And when they start shutting things down, um, because of all these people that's uh, getting people who are, are their immune system is weak, sick. Because that's really at the end of the day kind of how it boils down to. And also, it's like someone told me, they're labeling things that aren't even close. Like someone gets shot, boom, or he died because of coronavirus for the money. So we can't fully pinpoint who is dying of what, just know that the death toll is high this year, and I'm sorry, you know, my condolences to everyone who's lost someone, especially someone who really shouldn't have gone, you know, like, some people, it was probably the time they were old, you know what I'm saying, like, if you're like above 80, you know, and you pass, you've lived your life, don't be sad for them, you know? Like, especially if you know that they were a good person and they went on to heaven. But if they were young, you know, 40s, 50s, 30s, you know, 20s, a child, you know, teenagers, whatever the case was. Like, if they passed because they got sick for the coronavirus and they were coughing and, you know, maybe they had asthma or whatever, whatever the case, you know. I feel for you. I feel that. It's very touching. And nothing better than getting time to having being being with family this year, you know? Like if you didn't get to do it for Thanksgiving, Christmas is just around the corner. And so are some other holidays. Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and you know. I don't know what else is those or some of the major ones. Some of the major ones in, in July. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm talking about December. July, December. I remember the old commercials they had where it's like Santa in, in the summer. And something else that I like this time of year that they don't have year round. Those Christmas trees, oh my God, here are some of the best um, little Debbies that you're going to get. Some of the best pastries that you're going to get. And I, I'm not gonna challenge you. I'm just gonna say, if you don't think that, that's your opinion. But oh my God, I love them. I love them. I love them. Those Christmas trees. Um, it was like five in a box, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> now you're talking. Uh, out of all the stack cakes out there, when it comes around this time of the year, let me get some of those Christmas trees and. Eggnog. Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, there's certain stuff out there that you get for almost every holiday. Um, Thanksgiving, your auntie, your mommy, your cousin, someone, whoever, someone in your family is bringing that banana pudding, you know. Um, Fourth of July, they bring that banana pudding. They're baking them cakes. They're baking them pies, you know. But nobody is selling those Christmas trees. Uh, sometimes you got those who sell me around because I've seen one where it said something about uh, the, the taste of Christmas in the summer or something like that. But when I see them, you know, if I see them in the gas station or whatever, nah, it's not the same. Because I don't want the whole box. I like, pay the two dollars for the box instead of like a dollar or fifty cents or whatever for one at the store. You know, I promise you, you'll be much happier because. Then you can share one. You know, you can give me one. That's why. You know? <laughs> I promise you, you're somebody, you give somebody one of those, and they'll be like, thank you. Because <laughs> manners these days are, is in a short supply. And, you know, there was a point in time where all people wanted for Christmas was a cheap front teeth, and all I need is a hula hoop. So, if that's not the case, I don't know what to tell you. But like I said, thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to keep it real with you. No big deal. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out everything I got going on in the description down below. And we will definitely see you 
So, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget those leftovers because it's the first day of Christmas. And the tree. Star on the tree. Or an angel if that's if you're thinking about me. So, peace. Hello YouTube world, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video.